so that we could have a state of Israel. And as soon as we finished that solemn ceremony, we became very happy and we began to celebrate Israel's 71st birthday. And our celebration continues this morning. We have special guests from Israel. They're, yes, they're from Israel. They arrived three days ago. We're very happy they're here. And they live very close to a city you know a lot about. They live very close to Tel Aviv. Mm -hmm. Our school knows a lot about Tel Aviv. It's our, it's our partner city. It's our twin city. So they don't live exactly in Tel Aviv, but it's a community very, very near Tel Aviv. And they are very young dancers. Some of them are in school. Some of them are in the army, I heard. I don't know how they got out of the army, but they did to come to perform for you. So some of them are students, and some of them are in the army. Are any of them in high school? No. Oh, some are in high school. Two or three are in high school. So this is the Rebbe Tal dance troupe. And Rebbe Tal is actually here. Raise your hand, Rebbe Tal. I didn't know it was named for someone. This is, I'm sure this is the director of the troupe. And we're so excited to welcome you to Valley Beshalom Day School. Israel's very important to our school, as you can see and hear. And so we're so happy always to welcome people from Israel. And it's all yours now. So thank you so much for coming. Yes, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to Hatikva, the home, by the group Revival of Israel. Please turn off all cellular phones. Filming the show is forbidden in any way. Enjoy. This evening is an evening of hope, of love and nostalgia, of laughter and longing and principally an evening of heartfelt songs and dances. Tonight we are all hope, but what exactly is hope? It is the expectation of something good, that belief that the odds are in our favor. Without hope, we could never have gotten through 2,000 years of diaspora. You all know it. What keeps us going is hope. Tonight we will look at the delicate makeup of life, past, present, and future, through the words of Hatikva, written by Naftali Letzinger. We will see how Hatikva is part of all of us in our everyday lives and on special occasions, when we are uneasy in unfamiliar situations, or when we feel a part of something we are proud of. This is hope, Hatikva.
First we overcame him, but then we got malaria, and swamps, and tents, and transit camps, and colossus, and demandings, exhausting work. And in spite of it all, in our heart, inside, we felt joy, fulfillment, and satisfaction. Why? Because our country was actually coming into existence, one step at a time, one city at a time with lots of hard work. One, two, three, go to work.
choose a life of wars, they happened. We didn't have any choice, so we had to fight back.
people filled with hope. When one wish comes true, we immediately find something else to hope for and desire. That's the way we are. A people of believers who know there is someone up there listening when we pray, when we plead, when we hope, and we really do succeed in fulfilling many of our aspirations. We have one true great hope. May it be realized in our day. Amen.
also wanted to sing a song for you. A song from Israel. I think it will last again. Thank you. 